This is Marilyn Lohman, Service Hydrologist at WFO Pendleton. I will be reviewing the mountain snowpack over the last month and the water supply forecast for the coming months. This map, produced by the Natural Resource Conservation Service, shows the percent of normal snow water equivalent or amount of water being held in the snowpack for the various basins across the state of Washington. February was a very stormy month with a large increase in the snowpack and precipitation across the region. Snowpack in the central and southern Washington Cascades increased from near 60% of normal to near normal and slightly above normal with amounts near 105% of normal. In southeast Washington, the snow water equivalent increased from about 85% of normal to 114% of normal. We'll look at a few locations within the basin to see how the snowpack changed over the last month. These charts show the snow water equivalent for the water year, October through September. The blue line is the maximum observed, while the red line is the minimum, and the green line average. Using these charts, we can see how the snow water equivalent accumulated throughout the winter and spring, how it melts off, and compare it to average. The Tushi Snowtail site is in the Walla Walla Basin, around 5,500 feet. Looking at the black line, we can see that this site had a steady accumulation during the month, but remains slightly below normal. The Sassy Ridge Snowtail site is located in the upper Yakima Basin at 4,200 feet. This site saw a large increase during the month of February and is now near normal. The Bumping Ridge Snowtail site is around 4,600 feet in the central Washington Cascades. Looking at the black line, we can see that there was a large increase throughout the month with amounts near to slightly above normal. Across the Oregon portion of our region, there were some good increases as well, but you can see on this graphic from March 4th, the snowpack is still below normal over most of the state. Amounts did increase from around 20 to 30 percent of normal over the Cascades to near 60 percent of normal. The John Day Basin increased from around 50 percent of normal last month to near 60 and 70 percent of normal. The Umatilla Basin and Grand Ronde Basins ranged from 70 to 75 percent of normal at the start of February and have improved to near 85 to 95 percent of normal. We'll look at some individual sites within the basins in the next several slides. In the Lower Deschutes Columbia Basin area, Clear Lake Snowtail is at an elevation of 3,500 feet. Looking at the black line, the current year observation, there was a large increase throughout the month, but this site remains well below normal. In the Upper Deschutes Basin, Three Creek Meadows Snowtail Site is at about 5,600 feet. We can look at the solid black line and note that the site had a modest increase through the month, but also remains below normal. For the John Day Basin, looking at the Blue Mountain Springs Snowtail Site at 5,900 feet, this location had a substantial increase throughout the month However, it still continues to be below normal. For the Umatilla Basin in the Blue Mountains, we can look at the High Ridge site at 4,900 feet. Looking at the black line, the observed, we can see that there was a steady accumulation throughout the month, and this site is just slightly below normal. Further east in the Grand Ronde Basin, the Moss Springs Snowtail site at 5,800 feet continues to show a good accumulation of snow and has increased to slightly above normal conditions. The Northwest River Forecast Center uses Ensemble Streamflow Prediction or ESP generated forecasts as the official water supply method. The 30-year runoff normals covering the years 1981 to 2010 are being used. 
For all of the published locations, these updated normals are less than the 1971 to 2000 data set. This is due to the relatively dry runoff period from 2001 to 2010. New ESP forecasts will be published on the Northwest River Forecast Center's website at a minimum of once per week, but may be updated daily at the discretion of the River Forecast Center. For updated forecasts and more information on ESP forecasts, please see the River Forecast Center's website at the address given. This map from the Northwest River Forecast Center shows a snapshot of water supply forecasts for the coming season. There has been a fairly good improvement in the water supply expected across the region. Locations in Washington that were expected to see supplies of 75 to 90 percent of normal are now expected to see near normal conditions, with above normal water supply expected in northern Idaho and Montana. Across Oregon, the northern portions have improved, but for the southern portions of the state, they are still expecting below normal amounts, with well below normal amounts extending into the Snake River area of southern Idaho. For the Yakima River system, we'll look at the forecast for the Yakima River near Parker. Looking at the plot, the solid green line is the 30-year normal. The box plots show the entire range of forecast values, with the blue dot the 50th percentile, or most likely value. We'll be using that 50th percentile and comparing it to normal. The volume forecast for the Yakima River near Parker has continued to show an increase over the last month water supply amounts are now expected to be about 120 percent of normal. For the Grand Ronde River at Troy, the forecasted volume of water, or the blue dot, has increased some and is expected to be about slightly above normal at 115 percent. Looking into the Umatilla River Basin for the Umatilla River at Pendleton for the period April through September, the forecast volume of water has increased slightly and is between 85 to 95 percent of normal. For the site, the Columbia River at the Dalles, once again we see the average plotted in green with the most likely value the blue dot. The volume forecast for April through September period has increased from around 90 percent of normal at the start of February to near 100 percent of normal. The previous seen plots and additional water supply locations are available in an interactive form on the Northwest River Forecast Center's website at the address listed on the concluding slide. The three-month outlook from the Climate Prediction Center for March, April, and May calls for near to above normal temperatures and equal chances for above or below normal precipitation. For more information on the unseasonably dry conditions and drought conditions both here in the Northwest and across the country, please visit the National Integrated Drought Information System webpage at the address above. You can view the drought monitor, look at current and forecast conditions, as well as impacts from drought, and also find resources relating to drought. Once again, additional water supply forecasts and the interactive forecasts can be found at the Northwest River Forecast Center's webpage at the address listed. Please join me again in early April to see how the snowpack is progressing and the updated water supply forecast. If you have any questions, please contact me by email or by the phone number listed here. Thank you.